I'm too afraid to talk. <laughs> Why? I'm stuck in a realm. <laughs> I was just vibing to the music. Honestly. What does vibing mean? What does vibing mean? Vibing yeah. means you're vibrating. You know. To the music. <laughs> I mean, that's is literally it, what it is would that, mean. Is that, is that what literal, else mean? Was that the literal etymological origin of yeah. vibing? Yeah. Okay. I did not oh, yeah, know well, I mean, that's where vibes come from. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, well, be. vibes, you know. Yeah, Good vibes. vibrations. Good, good vibrations. Vibes. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Vibe, vibe, be, you know. Uh, beach Boys. And yeah. then masturbation. Yeah. 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 Hmm. It's a slippery slope. Mm-hmm. It's a straight line. Mm-hmm. Don't I know it, dude? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we've 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 slipped from you know just dancing just straight into sex accidentally many times. Oh yeah, happening. I'm afraid. I'm afraid, baby. I'm afraid of the way you <laughs> vibrate all the time. <laughs> baby, I'm afraid of the way you vibrate all the time. <laughs> This is an excellent. Wow, start. that one yeah. that one sent Dan into. A- I don't know why it's really funny to me. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm just imagining cowering in fear because <laughs> she won't stop vibrating. Just vibrates all the time. <laughs> Linda McCarty won't stop vibrating. <laughs> yeah, this this is a good episode. I to me. God I, damn it! I totally <laughs> disagree. <laughs> I'm God, this I don't episode's know. terrible. What? In in the words of the young, I, I proclaim this episode mid to me. It's mid, yeah. Oh, I, I liked it. I liked it. I don't understand. I don't understand. Where is the disconnect between I, I you think, and I? I, think I don't the, know. I think, the, I think the biggest thing about the episode is that it makes you more directly examine the safety of a transporter. Oh yes. yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. It doesn't is, make any which sense. Is, which is which is things I've I've questioned since the beginning of time. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, also, it 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 makes me question. This is what it makes me question. The ending uh, of the makes prestige. me question the <laughs> liver. Uh, no, it makes me question the how anything gets done. The chain of command, like it, there's a lot of like just like rules that like I have questions about, like. Like, why wasn't Broccoli Rob? Look, Broccoli Rob at the end of the day saved the the the, the episode. Like, right. He was a hero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's always he's, the hero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he always ends up being the hero. The yeah. unlikely, yeah. like you know, when he shows up, that's like his whole thing. His character. Yeah, is. yeah. And I used to hate him. Yeah. Okay. But well, this he was, episode he was creepy. Like him. He was a pervert, but he got he got past that. Well, right. Uh, why was he a pervert though? Because he had all the holodeck stuff. He was that. That's being... his private stuff, dude. <laughs> Don't look at his private stuff, dude. Well, the private and stuff he had became Deanna stuff. It was affecting like, his he was like, life, though. He it was, was affecting like, life. I get it. Him. I get it. But that's yeah, the his issue was world. affecting his life, like outside of yeah. The how, how many times I masturbate isn't your book and business, dude? It is if it affects your work, sir. my body, my choice, dude. <laughs> I mean, if you're, it is if if you're, you're having these kind the of job. things about a, a coworker or, you know, it could be weird, you know, oh, so. Uh, why is it weird? We're, we're going back to this, but like, there was nothing weird about it. The only thing was weird that was affecting his job. That's the only thing that was weird about it, period. Yeah. And it came to light. Oh, well, I think it's weird that you, you, you do it with your coworker. We, we discussed Dude. this. Okay. Okay. L- 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 Not again. Back, but Not but again. <laughs> Move on. Move on. Yeah. What about Broccoli Rob, Ricardo? <laughs> Uh, he saves the day, but it makes me question, like, shouldn't he have been, like, a couple of things. Sh- shouldn't he have been quarantined once they found out something was sketchy? Like, he went back to work. No. Yeah. Like, nah. like, like, like nah. stupid fucking, uh, they quarant- Beverly. They've never quarantined once. Beverly's like, let me put this Except fucking Dr. Trick, Pol- baby. Dr. Pulaski <laughs> quarantined once because she's an actual doctor. And, and, and they fired her. It. For yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they fired her. They fired quarantine her. shit on Star Trek. <laughs> She was they, also the one, remind me, that didn't trust the transporter. No, you know she that? also she did like not trust the transporter. That, you, guys know that, you guys know that meme from Idris Elba? Not Which, around here, partner. Not around here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen that. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it, they do it a lot with cats. Like, they're like, this is how much oh. you feed cat. And then they put Idris Elba's voice. Not around here, partner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but basically, like, they don't quarantine him. 
But then no. you just put a, a night watch on him. That doesn't work, by the way. He almost died. Yeah, it didn't go off. <laughs> yeah, so he yeah. fucking forgot to turn it on. But Beverly yeah. fucking forgot to turn it on. Yeah. So <laughs> God damn it. And then and then the second thing is at no point were they like, oh shit, dude. Um he may be emotionally compromised or mentally compromised. Let's give him look, we know that Deanna is here, uh, she's a nipple baby. You know what I mean? Like literally, right? <laughs> like she's here because you know her mom's a a, a one, one of the most ups. famous betas, yeah. betazoids yeah. ever. Yeah. So she's an Apple baby. She's there because she, she's not good at her job, dude. Let's be honest. <laughs> let's put let's put the the cards out. Turn she's, a cards she's a legacy hire. She's a legacy hire. She's a legacy hire. And and so no one goes, hey, he may be mentally compromised. Let's let's kind of like. Let's put him on medical leave for like a, a week or two. To be fair, she did. She she did. She did. Too late. Too late. She too was late like, did. you know, I'm gonna. Put, you should go on involuntary leave or like a temporary. Yeah, leave. but We're he gonna... was like already deep in psychosis at that point, which was valid. I mean, his he wasn't way, really going. By the way, crazy. he didn't he didn't have psychosis though. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. really experiencing. He, 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 was, he, just, he, was, he just had anxiety. He just looked up his his symptoms on WebMD. He just WebMD himself. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Into a hole. Who hasn't done that and landed in the yeah. hospital? Come on. But, but you know <laughs> say how like how much of a Looney Tunes moment it was, where you know Luxana, the voice, is reading out the symptoms, and yeah. he is like physically reacting and acting out every symptom that's read off. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, this is too much. This is too Looney Tunes for me. But you know what? We, we've gotten ahead of ourselves. I, I really like this episode. Uh, it may change while we, as I talk about it, but yeah. I liked it. I need to hear your analysis on this. But for now, all we need to know is that this episode, Realm of Fear, oh. first aired on September 28th of 1992. Ooh. Damn, let's go around the sun. Whoosh. Okay. So at first I thought there was n- almost nothing to find, but then I found some cool stuff. First oh. off, um, oh. remedial TV to catch up on because uh, it's enough of a 90s thing that I feel like people ought to know that I missed it. Um, over the summer, Are You Afraid of the Dark started airing on Nickelodeon and Batman wasn't the only September cartoon. There was also Goof Troop and Eek the Cat, which is a poll you've already used. Eek the Cat! Along with Super Dave, Daredevil for Hire, oh, King right. Arthur and the Knights of Justice, freaking great cartoon, Beekman's World. World and hanging with Mr. Cooper. Oh, hanging with Mr. Cooper. All that Cooper. stuff premiered in that that September. On the 24th of September, we saw the launch of the Sci-Fi Channel. Both Gene Roddenberry wow. and Isaac Asimov had been involved with the very early development of the channel, but neither were alive to see its launch. Okay. Leonard wow. Nimoy was the MC at the launch party at the Hayden Planetarium in Manhattan. The widows of Asimov and Roddenberry were in attendance. Wow. Um, so Majel Barrett herself was at the premiere of the or at the launch of the Sci-Fi Channel. How about that? That's so cool. Yeah, I love the Sci-Fi Channel. That was my favorite channel growing up. It, it yeah. was still spelled Sci-Fi, like yeah, at the S-C-I- time. S-C-I- 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 and then they changed yeah, it to S Y F Y, right? Yeah, yeah. For why did they um, change it? Do, you, do we know? More of a uh, more of an individual identity, easier to search for, etc. It's a Googleable term. Whereas if you just Google sci-fi, why not sci-fi? sci-fi? Because sci-fi is also a genre that refers you, to all sorts you, of books and movies, for, and like yeah. it's much more Silly. generic. I don't like that. I don't like that reasoning. I kind of get it. I get yeah, it. I kind of get it. Into That's in like a capitalistic the w- way, w- the WWE and the WWF. Um, change over. No, that's a, yeah. People that's got a used little to different. that too. Yeah, yeah. Well, they got sued. There's no choice <laughs> but to change it. Yeah, a lawsuit is a little different. It Look, is we can different. have animals and we can have wrestling at once. It's fine. We can yeah, do that. Just make the people, make the wrestlers wrestle the animals. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So uh, one of the co-founders, Mitchell Rubenstein, said that the first thing that was on screen was dedicated to the memories of Isaac Asimov and Jude Ronberry. So you can probably guess what they chose to air first on the network. Can anyone guess? Doctor Battle Who. Battlestar Galactica. I like that you guys <laughs> went there, but it in fact was Star Wars. A new uh, <laughs> Star Wars? Oh, nice. Are you for real? <laughs> yep. They said That's Star- the first thing they broadcast. Uh, really? Good. After that thanks? After that that warm <laughs> yeah. thank you? Yeah. And then they did Star Wars? That's pretty good. That's like, oh my god. Uh, yeah, just, so that's what said, I discovered like just a few minutes before we started recording. It's amazing. They should have um, said, this bad. one's for you. And then, <laughs> like, oh my god, that's the wrong star show. This one's for you, Gene. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, the Simpsons fourth season had also premiered with Camp Krusty, which is the place run by Mr. Black as a mm. stealth sweatshop for wallets that are not made by Exter. Gentlemen, 
to evil. Yes, to evil. <laughs> and finally, on the 25th, we saw the movie called The Last of the Mohicans, which featured Daniel Day-Lewis and even a very small role for one Cola Mini. Oh, yeah. Mm, really? Is Brad Pitt yeah. in that movie? I don't no. think so. No, you're thinking of The uh, River Runs Through It. <laughs> I don't know what I'm or, thinking. Either that or, or Legend of the Fall. Yeah, Legends oh, of the Fall. Yeah. Well, of course, I know Legends yeah. of the Fall, of course. But Cole but. Meany plays a bastard in that movie. <laughs> he does. Bastard from a basket. <laughs> you say Colum or Colum again? Colum. 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 Okay. It's Col- Colum. Col- Col- Colum. Yeah. It's Colum, like it's, a it's, Colum. It's Colum Ma- Hanks. Marble, marble Colum Meany. Yeah, like yeah. Colum. Yeah, exactly. Col- <laughs> Colum Powell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by the way, you know what else released like around the same time? Oh. Captain Ron, which is a great movie. Oh, I don't know what that and is. And Sneakers. Sneakers. Oh, Sneakers. Oh, yeah. Fucking great. I only and know about a one-eyed dog named after Captain Ron. Oh. Oh. Oh, and, I don't uh, know any of that. And uh, School Ties. I don't know what that cool. is either. I don't know School what that Ties. Is. Uh, School Ties is a beautiful coming-of-age uh movie that stars Brendan Fraser. Look at all these oh, stars in this I movie. Like Ready? Brendan, oh. Fraser. Brendan Fraser, Matt Damon, Chris Ooh. O'Donnell, uh, oh. Ben Affleck, oh. Anthony right. Rapp, Cole Hauser, a oh. uh, oh. lot of guys. And then, oh, and then the guy from last, I think last season, the guy that played the dad, uh, the dad of the, um, oh, I forgot about this guy oh, in this Wesley's fucking movie. No, oh, Wesley's the, friend? Yeah, the guy that, that fucking That's killed uh, I'm everybody. sorry, I'm sorry, oh, my the, son almost killed you. The Ed serial Lager. killer guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, not serial killer guy. The, the setup is, guy. If you guys haven't seen it, take a look. I have not. Take a watch. Right. It has good people in it, though. I love yeah. Brandon Fraser. All right. Well, that was our trip around the sun, y'all. Well, all right. Hey-o. Well, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna for our sponsors. I'm gonna start off with Extra this time because you know oh. what? Very bizarrely, Extra for some reason just released a short mini documentary produced what? by Google. What? About their company? What? <laughs> Very oh. odd. <laughs> Are we okay. in I was that so afraid. I was so afraid that it somehow involved us. <laughs> oh, it does. We're in it. It was, it was actually today. a deep dive into. <laughs> it's I was a, like, they, what the fuck are you talking there's, about? There's a, there's, a, there's a public perception of, of dick skin wallets that we've never made, but everyone keeps asking us to restock them. <laughs> Oh no! You know, part of me wonders if they have been reached out to about it, and they're I don't like, know. "What?" I don't know. But the the documentary mm. was apparently about sustainability, which does make sense because Exter did go out of their way to make a lot of their products out of sustainable materials. Like their backpack, their grid backpack is made out of recycled PET plastic. So you know, they they do stuff like that. So. Uh, but yeah, but they they also make nice nice wallets, including their brush copper wallet. Is the gold wallet recyclable? No, the, see these are the if you pay more, you you okay. you, you don't get the recycle That's stuff anymore. That's not sustainable. <laughs> okay, got it. I guess you could melt you down could a make wallet, like yeah. a ring or something, maybe. Yeah, you could just melt the wallet down back for smeltable materials, I suppose. What if you saw like a green 100% sustainable logo on like a Rolex watch? <laughs> <laughs> or you saw it on like on like a like a BMW, like it's just yeah. the side wall. <laughs> this entire car is recyclable. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and you can't remove it. It's just a brand on where can, it. Where can people watch the doc? Uh, it's just on know. the website. It's on, it, you go to uh, extra.com. You know what? Don't don't want to know now. <laughs> too much work. You wanna, well, if you want to get a deal on a wallet, just head on over to extra.com. That's are, EK. Are they the wait, wait, are they the ones that gave us a weird link? Yeah, or they what? gave a, they gave us an odd link. <sighs> but just go to extra.com, e k s t e r.com and use our offer code newbie, n e w b i e for a discount for when you when you uh when you buy something at extra. Uh, I say it's just a discount because it's variable. So if if there's a sale going on, our discount stacks on top of theirs. So you could potentially sometimes get like 40% off. You could sometimes get up to 55% off. It depends on Damn. what sales and stuff are going on at the time. So And if you're self-conscious about listening to us, you can just say that you got the promo code from some other newbie podcast. Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. newbie, N E W B I E. There you go. Guys, if you can let them know when ask them when are the, when they're going to release this dick skin wallet. I'm yeah. really interested in it. Put that in your your little little special request note as you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just to be like I would have gotten a dick skin wallet, but instead yeah. I'm going to get this brushed copper wallet. So. Yeah, I'll settle for the copper. It's <laughs> a, it's the closest color to dick skin as you can. <laughs> 
<laughs> so again, that's e k s t e r dot com. Absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, dot com. And yeah. Then, uh, just everyone knows. Newbie. Everyone yeah. knows. Pig meat is the closest you can come to eating human meat, and <laughs> copper uh, wallets as close as you could get to uh, dick skin wallets. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's very close. Hell yeah! And it's, it's also extra. We're gonna get. I think it's yeah. extra's anniversary right now, so they might have. A is that, is that one of the documentary? Is that oh. the documentary? It might. It might have been why they coincided. But that's. You should, but they're, you but they're should, having a sale. Look, that's why, if you guys yeah. have time to write an angry email to us, then you guys have time to write an email to Exeter and go, "Hey, why are you guys not talking about the fucking dick skin wallets on the on the dock?" <laughs> oh um, just curious, asking uh, for a friend. We're gonna true. send someone down a, a hole trying to figure out where this rumor came from yeah. <laughs> and when they find out that's the end of the sponsorship <laughs> yeah, yeah dude uh, <laughs> just like our like... sponsorship with express oh, vpn where listen sarah and i were just watching a documentary she was a stalker and she got caught because she was sending emails without using a vpn to cover up her ip like yep. a sucker dear, dude yep <laughs> who was yep. this who was this this lady in this documentary here. It's a crime documentary, but most okay, like what let's a say. low quality stalker. So <laughs> well, here's what happened is like ninety-eight percent of the time she used a VPN and there was like two percent of the time she forgot. Yeah, that's why you gotta use And that's your VPN where they fucking got her. All the time. Just Boom. Damn. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about ExpressVPN. You could leave it on the whole time and you wouldn't notice that it was on. Yeah, we do that all the time, actually. That's That's what she should have done. This is a Mm -hmm. high-class VPN, guys. Mm -hmm. Also, like I said, now you can put it on your your Apple TV. I love Apple products. I'm I'm a shill for them. I don't care if they're (laughs) using dead babies to make the phones. I'm still going to buy one of those phones. Yeah. So here's the thing. You can use it on Apple products, on your Roku, on anything. They have, if if you can build it, they'll come and they'll show Mm. up with their Mm -hmm. VPNs. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's a quality VPN. I use it on a, in a I used it before this sh- bullshit, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> before this bullshit we call a yeah. podcast. And I'll tell you what, I stand by it. I'll tell you guys when I leave ExpressVPN. You know, what was, what was crazy is when we were watching this documentary, the cops were like, you know, for the times that this lady used the VPN, they couldn't do anything. Yeah, they were they like, were well, like the address was sent them back to Turkey. So I was surprised at how the cops were like, yeah, you know, we were, we're stuck. We're stuck here. She used a VPN, but let's try to catch her when she forgot to turn it on and boom, Boom. caught her. Here's the thing. thing Look at, look, it it could be something you're doing that's legal. Yeah. But I mean, don't stalk. Yeah. yeah, We're not encouraging stalking. (laughs) We're we're not out here trying to tell you how to stalk people. We're not here. We're not here to tell you how to do your job. Yeah. yeah. We're just saying. (laughs) You do. You figure that out on your own. Okay. We defer to you, the experts. You're at work, right? (laughs) Mm -hmm. And you're, you forget your phone is in the company Wi-Fi, dude. And you're like, you know what? I live in LA. I live in one of the cool states that's legalized marijuana, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, Colorado, uh, cool states, you know, the ones that are laid back, that are like uh, that where you get like, right. you know, like get a high, get a lady Lazy pregnant, liberals. and then get an uh, get an abortion. You know what I mean, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. really, and you know, have a good weekend. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, and, <laughs> and do some surfing. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Uh, get a plan B. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. but here's 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 Tuesday. Hear me out. You're at work at your liberal company. Or maybe maybe this this company isn't liberal, dude. But you live in a liberal state, and you're like, "Fuck, dude! You know what I could use for tonight? Not right now. While I'm working, because that'd be uh, against company policy. But after I get off of work, I want to relax. I want to have a little bit of weed, dude. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, you know what? I should order weed on Ease Ease dot com. Uh, <laughs> and you're like, but you know what? I'm gonna order it now. And you do it online, and you don't use a VPN. Your company, because you're on their Wi-Fi, they're gonna know you fucking bought weed, dude. And look. Almost companies, it's it's okay to smoke weed, but yeah. s- sometimes they're like, dude, you can't be buying weed on company time, dude. I mean, even if you're in even a if state, it's your lunchtime. even if you're in a state where uh, weed is legal, yeah. a lot of government and city jobs actually have a policy against you ever smoking weed. So, you know, the, that's that's a big deal. They, they care. So here you go. You put on the VPN, 
you go to ease ease.com mm. uh and you buy yourself a nice you know like a, you could buy a star trek blend dude a star trek uh strain dude the romulan strain the romulan strain dude i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to one of these dudes and not, not one of them but i'm mm. gonna talk to one of these like growers and be like dude our listeners are hungry for like a broccoli rob strain you know what i mean what's this guy's what's this guy's real name you got to use his real name. What's to his real name? What's his real name? <laughs> what's, his, uh, what's his real name? <laughs> Barkley. Barkley. Barkley, dude. But you know what? We'll, we'll try to call him. You could call him Barkley Broccoli. Rob. Well, Barkley. Like, what's his name? Called? Was it Wesley that called? Who who made fun of him and called him Barkley? Everyone, everyone made fun of him and yeah, called, him called him Broccoli. Yeah, so everyone. here's the thing. We can get a Tapatio hot hand strain, dude. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Ooh. You know, we could really mix it up. Like that, it. At that point, it's a branded newbie Star Trek strain. <laughs> They yeah, give, a, give, give us a awesome. cut of that. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> Sponsor so us, please. You Wait, could VPN? it be called Tapatio without trouble? Tapatio, I looked this up. Because you can. We're, you we're can. looking at stuff right now. Uh, Tapatio is, is, if it's on its own, it's licensed, but as part of a term, it is not licensed. What? So, so yeah, Tapatio hot hand. Because hot because Tapatio, Tapatio is describing something. It's I don't a want to get into it's, it, it's, but it's, it's a term. Slang, uh, it's a slang for a region of a person from a region yeah, of Mexico. Yeah. 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 Um, is wait like is this bad? Should we not be using this term? Sarah, or? I didn't say bad. I said <laughs> we said slang, dude. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, dude. No, like it's not like a bad slang. No, it's term. like saying it's like slang, like, oh, yeah. not slurring. Yeah. It's, it's like saying like, <laughs> like yeah. I don't know. I don't want to mistakenly have been saying it was a slur no. the whole time. It's like, like saying like Angelino or something. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Don't say okay. that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Marvin. Hold on. <laughs> you can't, you can't, up. can't, you can't that, say dude. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway. It's like calling him saying, a jingo. <laughs> <laughs> God damn You it. definitely can't say that. We're going to have to bleep that. Uh, guys. But seriously, tell these people at ease.com that you want them to sponsor us and get a Star Trek fucking blend going slash strain. I'm telling you guys, it, people would love it. People love Star Trek. We're newbies, but we still love Star Trek. So I don't know. Let's let's get it going. Let's let's get something going this year, 2024. We couldn't get to look. I told you guys we get to 100,000 subscribers before June. I'm getting a Star Trek tattoo, mm. even though I already have a Star Wars tattoo. It's going to be a conflict of interest. Do you really? Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, I didn't know um, that. Yeah. The conflict of interest. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. If we don't get to that, tell you what, though. We should try to get at least a strain, a Star Trek strain going yeah. for 2024. Just putting it out there on the vision board. Yeah, let's you put know, it on the vision board. You don't vision believe board. in vision boards. I like that you're paying tribute to Gene Roddenberry with that tattoo. Ricardo. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. <laughs> Classic. Um, oh my God. But in I the just meantime, but in the yeah. meantime, anyway. <laughs> if you guys want a, a VPN, Express yeah. VPN, head on over to Express VPN. We're still doing that? We're still on that? <laughs> yeah, we, didn't, we never did it. We never finished it. <laughs> we're Express never v- out of it, Ricardo. <laughs> yeah. Express we're VPN. We're never out of it. <laughs> expressvpn.com slash newbie star trek only and do if, good things guys not bad you, things and if you stri- if you sign up for 12 months they'll give you three months for free which is a total savings of 49 percent and you have a 30 day money back guarantee it comes with an ad blocker it comes with the keys password manager all sorts of stuff oh that's so. useful the password thing yeah so again because these days you got to change your password like every fucking three months yeah, or something yeah. So, yeah, or else still, you know, they hack your job and shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, allegedly. So here's the thing, guys. No stalking. No stalking. No stalking. Be- behave yourselves, dude. If you have uh, one of those machines, uh, not a replicator. What's Don't it look up weird porn. Don't, what is it called? Don't do that. Where Broccoli likes to jet- masturbate. God damn. Uh, holodeck. Yes. Holodeck. If you have a holodeck, it's okay to, to imagine your coworker. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. No, it's, it's totally not. Okay. It's not okay. No, it's not, you bitch. It's okay. <laughs> because Especially it's at work. I mean, I know he's not. The holodeck is, you know, it's in the vicinity of work. That's, that's too Guys, close for comfort. That's you, like, I mean, the more you like, talk about it, the less okay it is. That's like jacking <laughs> off in like the work restroom. Like, no, you know it isn't. I mean? Not at all, That's dude. Really not at all. Close. This looks really Sarah, close. Sarah, first of all, everyone's jacking off in there. In okay? the restroom? <laughs> in, in the holodeck. In the no, holodeck. No, but what about in the work restroom? No, I would hope you, you, not. you can't. You can't. It doesn't. It doesn't equate to that, dude. Here's yeah, the thing. The holodeck it's is a public close. space because not only do, do the people that work that makes that it are, even worse. Are, the civilians are also using the holodeck. Ugh. Two. 
It's like imagine if if I had a coworker. Let's just I'm gonna give her a name, dude. Scarlett Johansson. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Imagine it's a random I'm name. Scarlett Johansson, right? Uh, she's my coworker. What you look like? She's like, you know, she, she looks like Black Widow from the Avengers. <laughs> okay, got it. Got okay, it, got okay it, got for it. sure. Now sure. imagine this, dude. I I'm just saying. Talking about to say she looks like a black lady. <laughs> God oh damn. For the bit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so imagine now. Imagine I go into the into the holodeck and I just I, and there's there's no holog- holograms. It's just me. Mm-hmm. And I close my eyes and I imagine her as I masturbate. That really isn't a crime. Mm. It's not a crime. And and you can't shame broccoli Rob for doing that, dude. It's creepy. Maybe not illegal, but it, creepy. H- how is it? It's creepy for you to go in my mind and and find out what I've been <laughs> masturbating to. That's creepy, dude. <laughs> That's creepy. It's creepy to, uh, to, to spy on the holodeck stuff and find yeah. out what I'm masturbating to. Yeah. No. And then that was the that was when he had like Deanna and all these like sexy outfits too, right? If Dude, I remember right. I'm well, saying multi- multiple people in sexy oh, outfits. Oh right, yeah. I'm just like, saying just I'm just gonna weird, say like Star ooh. Trek, Deep State, there's something going on. <laughs> now now our fucking masturbating fucking practices are fucking a question. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a tricky tricky landscape. There's no one. trick about it, dude. You you're <laughs> impeding on my landscape. rights, my privacy, dude. Uh, <laughs> Do you I, sign I can, a waiver when you go in the holodeck that everything in here is private nah, and? <laughs> we should, we, guys. If you guys have read the 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 Star Trek Bible, what is it called? Q, what? QW40. What's that website that has all the Q- stuff for Star Trek? Oh, um, what? what is it called? Uh, you know the website. It's talking about memory alpha. Alpha, yes, alpha prime. There yeah. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. The wiki. Does it does that have anything about like like policies regarding like the holodeck? No, it just describes what the holodeck is. Yeah, because what if there it are says no everything in here is like we gotta, public we gotta get, and accessible. How, how, guys, we can't how, we can't get the prime been... directive down. How can we get a policy in the holodeck? <laughs> Marvin, Marvin. Come on. How the fuck? I mean, that's people, fair. Here's that's the thing, fair. dude. Here's the thing. It's let's the admit, prime admit directive. It, let's admit, it's like let's not it, being able to understand the First Amendment. We, <laughs> we, we, get, we get, I'm sure we get hundreds of fucking God hate emails <laughs> where they're like, where they're, where they're like correcting us, even uh, though like newbie uh, Star Trek is in our fucking name. But here's the thing. If you know the policies about the prime directive and or the policies about the holodeck, mm-hmm. shoot us an email, dude. Tell us what's up. Is it a crime to masturbate thinking about a coworker? I don't yeah. think it is. I don't think it is. I want to know. a holodeck yeah. question. I think that's a good, well, in the holodeck. It could like, be a prime know. director question too. Like, <laughs> no, we're just not, talking about no. imagining. You're not even <laughs> talking about a holodeck <laughs> projection. But, uh, but the holodeck is just like your imagination. It's not. It, it comes exists to life. physically. No, it, no, you it, have to if program you can it. touch it, if you can touch it and feel it, it I feel like physically, it's at, least have, guys, at the very least, you have to say it out loud. It's yeah, not, exactly, Dan. You the have thing, to describe but, it. But when you when you say it, here's the thing. When you say in the holodeck, you just whisper and you go, hey, I'd like to fuck Scarlett Johansson in Minecraft, and then she appears, and it's all blocky. It's, 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 it's Minecraft. You get blocky Scarlett Johansson. You have to say it out loud instead of typing it, okay? Like, that's that's where we cross it's the line. It's fine, dude. It's not her. It's not really her, dude. <laughs> Is I it, think I've I mean, said it before. It, like, you you should be able to deserve anything you're willing to say out loud. <laughs> I would say it's her face. Dude, that's a really good fucking policy. That, I don't know, dude. though. There's some that. really bad things people will say out loud. Well, maybe you well, should yeah, exactly. be into that. Though. It's like, exactly. so, so the, you know, people who are really screwed up will have no problem, and people who yeah. aren't. You know, they might. <laughs> that doesn't mean they should get that. <laughs> I'm just saying, like that. Th- that's that's the bare minimum. <laughs> also, Ricardo. Okay, I just thought of a different angle about why it's fucked up. Okay. Okay. It's a, okay. 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 Within the, in the very first holodeck episode with with the with the guy Dixon or Dixon Hill. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We yeah. learned the holodeck entities oh, yes. all are sentient and are basically alive. Okay. So you are basically and, forcing and, living and, and, things and, and, Marvin, into Marvin, sexual slavery. No, dude. No, dude. <laughs> not, not if you do this. 
holodeck. I like to have sex with Scarlett Johansson with consent. You can't do that. <laughs> you can say that. You? No, you, you can't. can't. You are programming. Consent must come willingly. You can't program it. Marvin, in. Marvin, but where's the will in the first place? I know, dude. We're getting into some deep conversations here that this you're not deep. ready to have, dude. This is deep. Yeah, you I'll take you to that. court, dude. I'll you take you to court, dude. It's legal. In the dude. court of Star Wars. <laughs> 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 I mean, it is something I'm very interested in because we have multiple examples of like, remember when Riker was just like, oh, I need to like rub one out in the holodeck, yeah. you know? And like he, went he was hall- very clear you about think, it. You think, you think he asks his fucking carp ladies for fucking consent? You guys, you know what? You guys are are, are ugly racist. You, you guys are, are judging Broccoli Rob because he's an ugly man, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. Here, here's a solution. Here's a solution. Uh, the, ho- the holodeck comes pre-installed with consent. <laughs> yeah, see? Oh see? It's part of the firmware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys oh, are being so you guys are being up. weird, Broccoli Rob, because he's not that handsome. Dude. How come you guys aren't talking shit about fucking Riker and his harp ladies? You guys are you guys are coming down on fucking Broccoli Rob, and I hate it, dude. What it's time to say yeah. he gets his due. He he saw the butt worms, and he alar- he told everybody, <laughs> and they word. fucking fixed the harp, this dude. The harp ladies could very easily be consenting sex workers, you know. Well, well, then Scarlett Johansson could be a consenting fucking sex. No, sex she's as well. a, she's a cr- creation you made. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are you guys are making rules, dude. We're getting into ex machina territory we where can we're talk to arguing Jean and ask. Yeah. yeah, I feel like this is <laughs> Benjamin this isn't Franklin worth arguing yet. Benjamin Franklin lives. didn't die for for me to fucking be tied to the fuck your rules about the fucking holiday. Dude. No, Ben Franklin, you know I mean? but but Ben Franklin did die uh, regretting that he invented cunnilingus. Uh, no, no, dude. That's why he had. That's why he had wooden teeth. That's why he had wooden teeth. <laughs> well, that's only because the ladies wouldn't leave him alone. They would. They, they wouldn't stop asking that's him for it. True, dude. <laughs> that's true. Everybody knows that. They he put was in like, that he's the inventor of eating pussy. The inventor. Yeah. <laughs> he's the inventor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He before invented ben, it. <laughs> before we should have had Franklin. him in that instead of Mark Twain. Oh my God. <laughs> what? It they, that, it would have been kind of sick, actually, if they went back to fucking colonial times. That would have been Hell really yeah. Old, right? Hell yeah. Oh. Then it would have been in San Francisco. I know, but then you could just fucking do whatever. Yeah. And then, and then no, Hamilton could have been rapping. Hamilton could have been rapping, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alexander <laughs> Hamilton. That's it's like a completely. It turns out it was actually completely realistic. True. The, yeah, the yeah. musical. It, yeah. He was Lin Manuel yeah. Miranda. Yeah. Yeah. It turns out the fucking white invented rapping. This was this yeah. really <laughs> annoying guy the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, uh, guys. It's been 30 minutes. Let's get into the episode. But listen, listen, listen. Denise we, Crosby we, wants to get in on this, okay? Ricardo, okay. could you please tell us what happened in this episode? I th- For a second, I thought you were going to go in, in an ExpressVPN. And I was like, God damn it. We're still not done with ExpressVPN. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Again, we, we've discussed half this episode already. Yeah. We've okay. Just, well, we've actually, to the we, core we, we didn't even get to the, this is a weird Weird to the bottom shit of it, <laughs> <laughs> which is completely bewildering at the end. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, makes so, sense. Sense. <laughs> so the bottoms were people. I, I don't guess. know. <laughs> I think so. I I don't or, know. Like the buttworms were like indicators of that that, that there were people there. Yeah, I don't so, know. Because because he he held onto a buttworm. And then the key he hugged human. it. He yeah. hugged it. Yeah, I think he. Or I don't he punched understand. it in the face. I wasn't sure. Which. No, he grabbed it. He grabbed it like a oh, hug. Okay. So I was like, but like, yeah. what would what would what would make you want to hug it? All of a well, sudden? he. So he. Okay. So he somehow mm. realized that was a person, right? I don't. There's no way. That's what he said. There's, he said he. Yeah, some, I, I know, re- but like, how do you even get to that conclusion? Like, yeah, dude. I think he explained it like he saw three butt worms and like there were three he said, he, maybe. Yeah, he said, he said butt worms only come in ones because one butthole get, per the, worm. The biggest stretch I can think <laughs> that of. Was, so now there's three buttholes. So, so, yeah. so, so the biggest yeah. stretch I can think of is that there was a line or there, I think data said it. It's right kind of, oh my God, I figured it out. Where, where they said, oh, when you're an energy form, like perception is weird. So you might see things at different scales or something. So even so, there's yeah, here, very little I, to go guys, on. Guys, I figured it out. 
Okay. You know how, you, how you go to somebody's house who's the really religious and you see the, mm-hmm. the, 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 the fucking the footprints? And it was like, for a while, I, I only saw one set because Jesus was carrying me and all that bullshit. You know what I'm talking right. about? The foot- so it's like, yeah. it was actually oh. me. Dude. That buttworm was me. Dude. The buttworm was me, dude. And, and, mm. and the other buttworm was Jesus and the apostles, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. That's why, that's oh why uh, I almost spit out my drink. One buttworm is my buttworm. But who yeah. are the other buttworms? Yeah, that's. I don't know. <laughs> that's this, a lot of. It's like theory. Lot, For that time lot, when yeah. I only saw one buttworm, why did you forsake me, God? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you're a new oh, listener wow. uh, and you're easily offended, uh, clearly it's too late. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I just articulated your idea for you. <laughs> it's true, dude. It's true. Thank you for that, though. Turn around now. Don't listen. Yeah. Um, okay. Here's 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 what happens, guys. This is the real lowdown. They show up, and there's a ship that kind of looks kind of cool. Yeah, like, the cool, ship style is, is pretty cool. Yosemite. Yeah. Yosemite. Oh, I love that. The Yosemite. I was waiting to see if he would say Yosemite or Yosemite. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's that it's that shape because it's a science vessel. So uh, science vessels kind of look like that. So they look cooler than than the ship we're on. Yeah, it's true. I, I I do think the these science vessels look pretty cool. When do they start banning fucking bumper stickers? Because none of these ships have like the Kelvin pissing on something. You know, you need you would need like a Romulans, really you know? big bumper sticker. Yeah, it would be well, yeah, really can, really big. You, you would need one. like a team of people to install it. <laughs> Anyway, you you could really make some fun stuff with it, you know, like Calvin pissing on the Romulan ships and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then they're in a Romulan fight, and they, yeah. they turn around, and the Romulans and go, are like, "God damn it!" Yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking Calvin. Uh, anyway, so uh, they they get hailed, and this ship is like in some fucking red angel dust stuff, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they're like, "Oh fuck!" Like, there's no one, no one's they hailed us, but no one's responding, no one's picking up the phone. Yeah, so they figure um, out that they can't. They can go from transporter to transporter, and so yeah, they're like, we're, they we're couldn't. Do that. They couldn't go send an away team because like it was too dangerous. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, the trans. Like, they need to bridge the two transporter machines together because the signal is too weak. Yeah, so they do it, and Broccoli Rob kind of helps like figure out that they can do that, and he's mm-hmm. like, "Oh yeah, 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 cool." I guess and, that like volunteers him yeah. to like be a part of this mission. Well, jo- well, yeah. I mean, Jordy was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah cool. That that is a good idea." And then he he's says, like, hey. "He's like, he's like Broccoli. You're my number one guy. Yeah, come on, let's go." I, I mean, it makes sense. Like, like if I give you an idea, I guess, and it's like you could maybe you could expand on that idea. Are you yeah. wait? You as a manager, you're gonna steal somebody's idea and then I bring them along. Yeah. yeah, definitely. No, oh kidding. my god. <laughs> Just dude. Joking. god. I guess Damn I thought it. it was interesting that like no one knew about his I guess maybe he didn't also, tell his, people about all, his fear. His only idea was to bridge the thing. He, he doesn't hey, need to go along. That's for a, that. that's a good enough idea, dude. The, also, no, couldn't no, you just be like, oh, I don't really want to go. Like, can't you just be like, I'm I'm good. I'd rather stay. I'd rather hang back, you know? You could have just lied and said like something cool. Like, hey, not today, pal. I have diarrhea. Or, yeah, just be <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I cool. have some stomach issues. I got to be near to it like a toilet. Cool. Working toilet, yeah, you dude, know what I mean? Yeah. So. And I have to masturbate today. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I got <laughs> plans. Said that. Yeah. I got plans today. You could have said that, but instead he's like, oh, I'll tell Sabrina to go. And then Sabrina's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I don't even know what the what he was. Ooh. I'm over here talking to Tim, and, and she's talking in the background of Tim, and uh, and she's like, I have no idea what these guys are talking about. Bridging the bridges and Madison County. Yeah, I don't know. Bridges. What the yeah, fuck are you Jeff about? Bridges. I hardly know him. And then so he's like, No, broccoli, you come with us, dude. You're gonna come with us. And he's like, Ah, god damn it. And he's so nervous, dude. And so. And they know this is a fucking dangerous maneuver, by the way. Yeah. Well, no, well, they, well, they claim yeah. it's not actually, dude. But, it's in Red Angel Dust, dude. And they can't, <laughs> they can't beam people. And you think that's not dangerous? Well, Brian said no, it's stable. We, Brian it's doesn't just, know shit, dude. They're sending He's, mixed signals, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I'm with, just bro- I'm with broccoli cl- Rob. Yeah, I'm just to be Rob. clear, like his fear, he is acting exactly how I would act in this situation. Yeah. Actually, I would be more firm than him. I would be like, I'm well, absolutely not going anywhere this is a, near that This is a general fear I think people should have of the transporter. Absolutely. Because, whether it's, it's no working way. normally or not. Because the whole point is that the transporter essentially kills you 
and reconstructs you out of the yeah, matter. No, I'm it's, good. It's killed you with. So, but like the thing is, is like he's being so gaslit because everyone around him is just like, oh, this is so normal. We do this hundreds, hundreds of times a day. What do you like? It's as normal no, as no, normal. The best can part be. about it is that Jordy is one of the people trying to do that, but he was literally in a transporter accident like yeah, three, four died. episodes ago, <laughs> yeah, where yeah. he was yeah. presumed dead. Yeah, yeah. And wasn't yeah. Barkley invited okay. to his funeral? Oh, okay. Wait, okay. didn't he ask Jordy if he had any bad experiences? No, Why no, no. Jordy what happened was or... okay. So what I wanted wait, him what? to yell. They had an argument, right? And what I wanted that the argument to go was Jordy gives you like, how many transporter accidents have there been in the last few years? Two, three. And I wanted Barkley to yell at him. You were in one. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting him to and he didn't. And I was yeah. like, fuck man. <laughs> fuck this episode. Fuck this episode. That is such a good point. That is such a good point. We thought you died. <laughs> yes. <laughs> remember, remember when you died and you were building pottery and stuff? And you said, remember a good episode about the transporter. And, he, and then he would be like, yeah, but you know, that was a Romulan thing. And you'd be like, it didn't have to be a Romulan thing. He's like, I made yeah. it back, all right. Um, yeah. No, I, I would absolutely not do this. And and Broccoli's fear and worry and anxiety around it. And totally he's justified. like he's like sweating profusely, shaking, like absolutely justified 110%. Yeah. Like, Tra- a transporter is is a is a death machine. Yeah, it, no thanks. I don't think people actually survive. I wish he would have said like oh Miles. How many people have come back from the transporter and not been able to fuck, dude? Because he brought their dicks <laughs> back wrong, dude. And then he would have been like, oh, that that is that number's high, dude. Um, <laughs> death's low, dick's not working. Fucking high, dude. Anyway, so he he they would send everybody, and then finally it's his turn. He's like, oh, he's all scared. He says no. He ranks out and stuff. Mm-hmm. But this is why I like this episode, because it points out how dangerous a lot of this bullshit is and how there's no protocol for things. Barkley like is the normal one out of everyone who is okay with all this. And Barkley is the one yelling, why are we okay with all this? Yeah. I'm, I'm with him. I like was rooting for him. I was like, you know what? Yeah. Fuck this. Like, absolutely not. I would have been in tears. Actually, I wouldn't even have gotten as far as him. I wouldn't have tried it. No and, way. And, and, and they, and so they send him to Deanna and Deanna's like, Hey, you got to face your fears. You got to go head on. And he's like, I face my fears. I feared talking to ladies. So I started masturbating to them in the fucking <laughs> thing. And then you shame me for it. You piece of shit. <laughs> uh, but no, she says, she says, Hey, you gotta, you gotta face your fears, blah, blah. blah. And then Tap she's like, neck. Touch, she's like, touch yourself. <laughs> just touch yourself. She's like, just touch yourself. <laughs> and he's like, I tried. That's how I tried. And you just, fucking just, just tap your lymph nodes. Yeah. And they'll, they'll do it. <laughs> and, and then, and he does it. And he's like, Oh, it feels good. I don't, I don't no, no, go. no, but up here. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, Oh, okay. Okay. It feels, yeah. it feels like, okay. Oh, I guess. oh, sorry. And, and so he, he goes, he's like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to face my fears, go in there. And then, um, call me, call me, uh, Colm. Colm. what's the name? Oh, Miles Colm. O'Brien. Miles O'Brien. Yeah. Yes. Uh, says, Hey, <laughs> I used to fear snakes. No, no, no. Spiders. Oh my yes. God. Yeah. The spiders. spider. Yeah. The and fucking he's like, spider. Yeah. He's like, and then I, and then I fucking masturbated to spiders and now it's fine it's, it's fine <laughs> yeah. yeah, I watched lots of good. spire yeah. porn yeah. and then I was like oh yeah. god oh I'm getting so grossed out he's, like, spire he's like, porn he's like, uh, he's like broccoli you gotta you gotta just masturbate in the fucking transporter <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I think this alternate version of events has gone a little off the rails <laughs> also we, we we cannot compare being afraid of spiders and That's whatever true. to like a transporter like it's not it's not equitable well, in my opinion. Are you scared of spiders? Yeah. Isn't them the same of level of transporters to spiders to you? No, 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 no. I I would I would one hundred percent probably do what call what Miles O'Brien did over being a transporter. Going okay. To the All transporter. Right. Would everyone here go try a transporter? No. Um Probably not without a lot of observation first. No, I would I would never because the way they describe the way a transporter works, it literally converts you into a stream of energy. To me at that point you are dead. Mm-hmm. That person of you is dead. Then the then the person they recreate wherever you're going is actually a brand new person who is now impersonating you. This is this oh, is that's a problem what I, for you, huh? This is what I call <laughs> this is what I call the. Uh, I mean, honestly, for some people, I think that's not. Ah, uh, it's that's a, true. It's a Tesla machine from from um yes the Christopher Nolan movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, this is the this is the prestige. There's there's somewhere I bet you down in the fucking transport room. It just opens up the bottom. You fall in, and then fucking someone shoots you. 
That's what yeah. Gary did. It's the, it's the executioner down there. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know who's down there, dude? You know who's down there? Yeah. It's fucking, they, they said Wesley left, but he's just down there. And they're like, they're like you can kill my man. You can kill. Yeah, and that's how like, he yes. eats. Every yeah. time someone transports, he's like, them. Um, and, uh, so broccoli rob is like all right let's do this and he, he, i like how your version of wesley is like he shoots people akimbo with two guns <laughs> 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 sorry guys like he's in the matrix <laughs> yeah. so he, he he gets transported and they, they they go over there and they figure out there's one dude who survived and he was like a transporter no he's, he's another dead. transporter that dude's dead no, no, sorry. That that uh, it's the only body that survived. It's the only body they found. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, yeah. not that it's alive. That it's that it's intact. That's so he's like really burned. It's very yeah. burned. He's yeah, burned very like, badly. Yeah. <laughs> they did a good VFX job on this guy. And so and so they they bring him back, and then as they're bringing back Broccoli Rob, he sees a buttworm coming towards him. And it, and it kind of bites him on the arm, but like in space, in, in like ghost form, not in real form. Yeah. And it's the first time we see the 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 stream, right? Yeah. It's the first time we've seen within I've never, it. Yeah. We've never yeah. seen that perspective of no. like yeah, being I don't think we ever have, within no. it. So yeah. that was pretty cool. I did yeah. like that. I mean, they I lie to like, us because oh. they don't show us dropping and then the smoke killing. Us, but, <laughs> yeah. but sure, that's the stream. Okay, Ooh, but whatever. Jordy says, I wanted to point out one thing that me and Marvin saw when he got transported over Jordy was just like are you ready to work like he should I don't know Jordy's just such a mean boss like, he's a bitch <laughs> yeah. he's just such a rude boss it's like you ready you are you finally okay now, now? alright all right. he's Whereas the type of boss like, he's the type of boss that when you're like sick and like the next day you show up and he's like oh, okay because uh, you, you called in sick yesterday you're, you're you ready, ready to work now you ready to work now yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you okay like, now? calm down dude whereas Riker Riker goes up to him and goes how are you doing are you alright yeah. like Riker like asks how he's doing yeah you know, he's like a, being an actual like person yeah <laughs> but like Jordy's just an asshole manager that's like you ready to work alright go ahead Go start doing this. I've, Jordy's I've, always so mean to him. <laughs> yeah. I've had, I've had, um, surprisingly, my current manager is really cool about that. Like, if you call in sick or like you like leave sick one day, like you, you're like, hey, I'm not going to finish the day. Like, I'm not feeling well. It's like, yeah, hey, take the day. Cool. And the yeah. next day, like, like I've many of times that I've, not many, but the times I have called in sick, it's always been like, especially if it's still the weekday and like I come back for that week, it's been like, hey, just take it easy like t today. Like just, you know, like uh, don't take, take, it easy, dude. take yeah. don't take too much work. Just kind of uh, like ease mm -hmm. into it. And mm -hmm. and, and uh, you don't get that a lot in corporate America. Wow. Being human, treating people like human beings. I know. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Wow. In America? Wow. Not wow. now. Wow. Not ever. Corporate America? Um, so anyway, he gets bit by a bow arm. Not my boss, but uh, Broccoli Rob. <laughs> And then, and then he, and then he, instead of going like immediately, if it happens to me, I go, guys, mm -hmm. I don't use this machine a lot, dude. Cause you know, I, I don't like, is this uh, normal? Is this normal? Yeah, yeah. This, normal? <laughs> this is what I saw a butt worm and it bit me. It bit me it, was arm. I hallucinating? So the problem with the episode is that he describes it right away to someone, but really vaguely. He goes, yeah. and then I he saw does something not talk about the butt worm touch my all. arm. It's like, no, it was a worm with a mouth mouth that bit your arm. Yeah. yeah. It's very different. Than and then something someone would have said, well, what kind of butt worm? And then it's like, well, not a not 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 a bum worm, not like like the pinworm, not a tapeworm. Yeah, no, no. He's like, this is like literally like a butt worm. It looks like a butt hole for yeah. the face. It looks like mm -hmm. it looks like yeah. a f fucking uh, with with the what's that movie with? He's like, have you seen Kevin Ant Bacon? Kevin Ant Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Oh, Tremors. Yeah. So oh, it's yes. a fucking it looks Tremors. Like a tremor. It's a fucking tremor, a tremor, yeah. a tiny tremor bit my arm. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little tremor. Yeah. <laughs> and so, and so, and so he, he doesn't describe it properly. He's not a good describer of things, dude. No. He's really good. At, he's really <laughs> yeah, graboid. Yes. Yeah, his graboid grabbed my arm. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing, the thing is that he's really good at describing things to the fucking holodeck. But when it comes yeah. to work, horrible at describing things. Yeah. Uh, oh. But if it's like, if it was a sexual fantasy, he would have described it down to a T, dude. <laughs> He would describe the ridges on the butt worm. Um, <laughs> he's like, it had spokes. Um, but anyway. Spokes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, anyway. So he's like, hey, I, I, have you experienced this? He tells Jordy. And Jordy's like, I can't see shit, dude. I, I just see predator <laughs> vision, dude. Jordy's like, I don't <laughs> yeah. know. So yeah. He's like, no, I, I've never <laughs> been able to see anything. <laughs> I only died once in there. It's yeah. fine. He's like, I saw Roe. 
You know what have been crazy though? If you really let's talk about this real quick. Mm-hmm. Do you think Bro and Jordy, if this wasn't like a like a safe for TV fucking movie, you think uh, the science behind it? You think they would have been naked? Yeah, uh, I think so. When they got ghosted, and when they got ghosted, well, they, well, they claim they, so they claim Things that could whatever phase with you. Yeah, th- otherwise the point Ooh. of the fa- remember the phaser, the fa- yeah, the, the guy the, the phaser on him, or the so disruptor. Phased with him. Yeah, so that yeah. didn't that that had to come with them. Yeah, disruptor, right? Uh, also, the chair he was sitting in had to come with him. So right, we uh, determined ah, that the chair it, definitely dude. was phased with him. Yeah, so it's it's thing, things come with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come mm. with them. Just real quick, anyway. they mention the Kardashians like once in this episode, but they don't come up again. Is that no. relevant? That's well, true. That well, is true. Interesting. Okay. Just saying. Yeah. yeah. Well. Oh. Oh. Another thing. This episode in particular, like, it's weird to bring this show up out of nowhere, but it reminds me very strongly of an episode of Steven Universe. Actually, mm. there's an episode called Warp Tour where Steven mid warp like it's just, which is a transporting device while being transported he sees something that no one else believes he saw oh and he okay. goes a little nuts like trying because he can't prove that you know he saw what he saw i wonder if that was inspired yeah, it's by part that of me, it's episode. like well that could very well could be some tng fans and you know among the writing staff absolutely mm. Mm. interesting so broccoli rob's like hey do you, have you seen any like like something bite your arm and he's like I, I don't know what you're talking about dude like just take it easy dude and then he's like maybe like he starts trying to figure out what um what is it called hay fever transport fever transport transporter Transporter psychosis yeah mm-hmm. so he starts asking about it and stuff and he starts telling uh miles o'brien so they start doing like like tests and then uh miles o'brien's like i'll do more tests nothing came up but i'm gonna do more tests on the other ship and and he's like oh no no, no. And it's like dude no let him talking also let him do it dude it, the only explanation is that they did these tests super shitty because yeah. it turns out sorry it's minor jumping ahead but at the end the humans were trapped in their pattern buffer right right yeah. <laughs> so if you so if you looked at the fucking pattern buffer you would have noticed hey there's four entities in here still but he never looked at it you think they were in I, the, they were just stuck in there real good he just half asked it he probably I, just looked at it was like it's fine I Miles O'Brien? Think, is yeah. it Miles O'Brien's fault I think Miles was phoning it in. There yeah, was he was a probably just be like, oh, he... we're definitely checking it. We're yeah. definitely... They didn't clean the lint filter. <laughs> there's a couple things that he clearly like missed over. Don't worry. You know, there's a, there's a moment in this episode where Miles says something like, I've been a transporter for like 22 years or yeah. some shit. <laughs> and I've never lost or had any problems. And I'm like, that cannot be true. Yeah. yeah. Miles, yeah. I love you. And I think you're great. But there's no fucking way. <laughs> do you but think, it's true that he... Do you think there's hundreds of, of thousands of people stuck there that he lost? <laughs> yeah, that opens up a, a good question, right? Like, what? That, which, like, which, which leads me to Sarah. Oh, why I like this episode, dude? Because <laughs> it it brings questions to to us that it that are like, why hasn't this guy been court martialed? But <laughs> it's questions that are like they just never thought it through production wise or storyline wise. Well, so they, it's just stupid, they just, and there's just holes everywhere, and you're well, like, well, the this thing doesn't is, work. It's, it's 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 they work backwards, right? It's so they always like they, they always go. Yeah. Oh, the future! It'd be really cool if you could just teleport from place to place. Yeah, you would have the technology by then. But then, like they, but then they bring in scientific consultants to like talk, think about it, and then they go. Actually, that's extraordinarily difficult, if not impossible, because you cannot on a quantum level with your matter measure where your matter is. And also recreate it exactly in the other end. That's the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So Marvin, then the writers these scientists go, don't know shit, dude. But then the writers go, uh, sure, Heisenberg compensators. So that it'll just compensate for that. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So so they're working backwards. They're just trying yeah. to like figure out ways to like emotional justify dampers. something's wrong with my G diffuser. Yeah, exactly. They're just yeah. They're just, what are they called? They, emotional dampers, so you don't cry. Emotional yeah. dampers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just you realize how kind of phony and tricky the technology is kind of not there. It's scary <laughs> in space, dude. No one can hear you screaming. Uh, now, now, the next scene, uh, the, the the burn guy is laying there. Mm-hmm. Do you think oh, he's, yeah. this do, is you think he's na- do you think he's naked? Oh, he naked. Um, he's naked. On set, he's no. He, he's got no, 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 at least underwear like, on. In the, in the, in the be believable naked. future. In, in <laughs> yeah. The, in the yeah. circumstances. Do you think yeah. he's just I think his, pe- I think his penis is out, yeah. Is, bur- yeah. is it burnt? 
It's a it's a uh, cadaver. I think it's I think yeah. it's unfortunately burned. Yeah. Yeah. I hope not. Well, yeah. he's dead. He well, doesn't. He's dead. Yeah. yeah. So the dead dude starts twitching. Still and hope like, not. Yeah. <laughs> And so what? Dad's again, like, please, not the why well, this dude? Why was he twitching? Because I mean, he had butt warmers in him. Be nice. <laughs> uh, I think Beverly found some. They found something. The, the little microbes. They are found creating, butt worms in him. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're creating worms, electrical yeah. signals inside him. That's right. That's that, then. That's what Broccoli Rob had it in his arm, right? So does that mean he had humans in his arm? No, that's a completely different issue. That that's why the ending's so confusing. God God the ending it, is dude. confusing because that's kind of what it sounded like they were implying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That that's not what it is. So there's actual microbes, but also when he's seeing a, a worm in the transporter stream, okay. for some reason it a human looks like a big microbe. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, because at first I thought like, okay, so that's our explanation. Microbes are huge when you're being transported, and that's why you see little yeah, that, worms. Yeah, that was Data's explanation. Data said, yeah, at well, first, and then later on, bro- Broccoli is like, uh, well, actually, these are people. It must be a human. And they need a hug. Yeah, Maybe yeah. because am, he I saw am. it, like, it looked like it was smiling at him. So maybe he was like, oh, it's smiling. Was he fucking high? There it was no way I would do that thing. Wait, hold on. Did he just have... <laughs> smiling at me? It's like, oh, he wants a hug. He's wearing a hug me t-shirt and smiles. <laughs> Didn't we just have two episodes about a race of wrinkly beings with gaping mouths that only exist in a special interspatial... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. We, we did. Them. We, we nuked did. them from orbit. <laughs> and they what, were... What's with like weird wrinkly worm people? People and transporter problems in the past, like few episodes. They they like to fuck mm. with us, dude. I don't know. Someone um, got on a vibe and they can get so, off. I guess. Yeah, they got on so, a worm kick. So this guy's got fucking burn vibes, and um, and he's got a burnt dick, and the, and Beverly's <laughs> like, his dick's getting hard, his brain waves going off, his heart's going. Yeah, what's he's going like, on? He's got butt. Worm I thought movement. initially it was like Beverly's like, oh shit, I I didn't realize he's alive. Oh, I'm a bad That's doctor what I too. <laughs> I'm like, she's such a horrible doctor, dude. Not good at her job, dude. There's so really many s- people who are totally bewildered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At how far we've taken. We this get so many show. comments. People go, "Why do you hate her so much?" <laughs> <laughs> she clearly she, you haven't been paying attention. I want Pulaski back. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, bring, I do wish she had stayed at least a presence in the show. She's bring, a good character. Unfortunately, bring back Roman Polanski. <laughs> and there are so many people who only remember how much she like you know disliked Data at first. People don't actually remember how she redeemed herself later. Yeah, that was the interesting part of her character, and that she came around and actually became a huge advocate for Data. Yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> at how many people just like say like she was addicted to Data. I hate her. And it's like. It, 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 she had a. Did you arc. watch the rest? She had a, of she the, had a better yeah. character arc than Bones did. Okay. <laughs> also, she she had a better character arc than than Beverly. Yes, who, who's a killer. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, now, Diana Moldar apparently fucking hated being on the show. So really? What, yeah. Oh, everyone okay. bullied her. Everyone was like kind of annoyed by her because wow. uh, what's her name? Beverly Crusher's actor. What's Gates McFadden was really popular and she was, Aww. they were all friends. And because the producer kind of forced her to leave when Diana Moldar replaced her, everyone was like, well... You're the replacement, especially because she was also in the original show. So they assumed mm. she was some sort of like legacy hire. So they found her kind of annoying. But, you know, she did her best. You can't tell in the performances that she. Wow. No, know, cause she's a fucking professional, dude. Not like yeah. these bitches who like, oh, your friend, our friend's gone. You know what? <laughs> now I hate fucking Riker, dude. He's a piece of shit, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Why so Riker? Much, so much well, the actor. The actor. Well, he didn't do anything. It wasn't. You him. just said he. he they were Frakes? dicks to him. You just said they were dicks to her. To her. No, it wasn't her. Spe- him specifically. Who no. was it then? Who, Who was, was it, it then? Dude? Not Sir Patrick Na- Stewart. Name, name names, dude. Uh, I think actually Patrick Stewart was one of them who oh. did not like her. Oh, he's a um, piece of shit. Dude. He actually. I'm glad uh, he did, lost he did, his legs. <laughs> <laughs> he did he did petition specifically to get gates mcfadden back um, what wow. a piece of shit dude uh and then uh i think jordy no i'm um, glad he's lost his I, I eyes think, i think it was primarily the crew that did not get on along with diana moldar but uh, patrick stewart he, was one that did not and i think i think deanna may not have either that but. makes sense she's fucking useless dude <laughs> Deanna, yeah. uh, uh, what's her name? Marina Sirtis was really good friends with Gates McFadden, or is really good friends with Gates McFadden. <laughs> so, 
Um, I don't want to spend yeah. too much time on the show developing vendettas against the actual cast. I, too late. <laughs> too late. Too late, dude. Uh, 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 anyway. You know, yeah. So Broccoli Rob uh, gets his arm burnt. He's like, oh, my arm's tingling. Am I having a heart attack? So he goes back to his room and he starts searching for the, the WebMD and he gets all the symptoms. And he's like, I can't. My vision's blurry. So my thirsty. Hands, so thirsty. <laughs> so thirsty. Yeah, he's I like, carry I, around my big my water bottle. I've lost the lust for life, dude. Yeah. He and, eventually gets a little Yeti water bottle. Yeah. <laughs> so then he starts. Thank God it's not a Stanley. <laughs> so they, they, they go in there. They start doing tests dude and and they but this guy's still is having like weird effects dude so they tell him hey hey uh just chill out dude go go and have a, a nap dude and so he yeah he, they do like the test so it turns out they found an exploded container yeah and they rebuilt it and then scanning it explodes it it turns out the explosion is alive <laughs> yes yes so so broccoli what? rob so, that so, is literally what yeah, it is. I know, I know. <laughs> Why? So Broccoli Rob goes, he has the same fucking tingling feeling in, in his sleep. And he wakes up and the next day he goes to Miles O'Brien. He's talking, to, he's telling him all these things. And he's like, hey, put me in there. Oh, he, in no, there. isn't this in the middle of the night? Like he wakes Miles I up. Think so. It's early in so. the morning or something. Miles yeah. O'Brien's like. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be sleeping. Oh, he did say, in, in couldn't just wait till, yeah, he said, couldn't yeah. this have waited yeah, until morning. Yeah. And so, so and he's, right. he sees yeah. about where we get. And it's, it's, it doesn't smile at him. He, it's mean. And then he's like, oh, alert the, the whole. Wake the, whole. the entire senior staff. Yeah. No, you like, know what? I will say that the one moment I do like about that whole exchange between him and Miles is when he says, like, I need to prove something so I don't feel crazy. You you get that, right? And, and Miles, Miles is just like, like, yeah, I get you. I get you, dude. Well, he also. Um, he's like, uh, he's like, I'm he married. Pulls- I get you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! God damn it! Dude. He pulls the rank You're card. You're married one here, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he Burn, pulls dude. the he pulls the rank card. He says, "You yeah, know he what? Does I, yeah, dude. He I don't rank out. you. You yeah. have to fucking listen to me. It's yeah, an order." He, he said. He said. Uh, Isn't I'm it weird? Law. Like Miles O'Brien has over time been demoted to chief petty officer. He's of lower rank than Wesley. Think about wow. this. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. After twenty, at least twenty-two years of service, he's a lower rank than fucking Wesley. Like you made a short about, it and there are all sorts of comments delineating exactly all the different things Miles has been. But it's the worst. He, yeah. he did start off as a lieutenant, and then slowly got demoted over and over and over until now he's a chief petty officer. Which means he's not even enlisted. He's an <laughs> NCO. Which God means damn it, dude. He's <laughs> been demoted to Keiko's husband. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Spider Wrangler. Um, <laughs> Spider and, <Wrangler>. yeah. <laughs> and and so he, he they alert the senior staff and they're like, uh, is he crazy or not? And then but, but they go with it. And then and then Picard, you know, personally he's a piece of shit, but but professionally <laughs> he he's like he's like he starts ordering things. He's like, hey, Let's let's shut these fucking transporters down. Yeah, uh, to take it all apart, investigate yeah, let's, everything. Let's fucking, this is a fucking this is a witch hunt, and it's <laughs> it's happening now, dude. And then and then they they take broccoli Rob and, and and basically Beverly's like, no, he's not lying. He's got the tinglys on his arm, dude. Yeah, um, we're gonna put an eye watch on his on his arm, and uh, I'm gonna forget to turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then they're they're not like, hey, not dude, help you, at all. go rest, dude, go sit down, or, or like stay here in the infirmary until we figure this out. No, they're like, anyway, go back to your shift, get back dude, to work, piece bitch. of shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. So he yeah. goes back, get to, back work. to solving your own problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then this is when it, when they the, when they blow it up and they they see that it's alive. Oh like, yeah, yeah, that's alive. what happened. Yeah, and then yeah. and then they look away and they they turn back and broccoli robs on the floor, dude. He's dead. He's, <laughs> so, he collapsed because he had yeah. to go back to fucking work. Work. Yeah, he's tired, dude. man. He's turning into a TV. <laughs> so, so they, they wake him up and they figure out they figure out that it's a tinglys, and so they're like, "Hey, go, go, put him back in there. Take the tinglys off. Uh, put another filter on it. Put two filters because the old one because the bio filter never works. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> two, two filters and get this roast going again, dude. And so they 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 put him in there. And at a, for a bit, they're like, "Oh, we, we're gonna lose him, dude!" And, and he's gonna just be trapped in there in the quantum zone forever. And finally, yeah. they, they bring him back, and he he hugs a buttworm because it smiles at him, and he brings <laughs> back a fucking person, dude. And everyone's like, "What's such fuck, a dude? such a leap in logic that I, yeah. it was bewildering." <laughs> I I don't. The science is not adding up in this episode. You really have to go with it. Is there I, is there a reason? Did, did, is I, it, 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we, we, we need uh, audience participation in this one. Yeah, like, send, we send, do. F- Please what clarify. What the fuck's going on, dude? What the like, I guarantee on? that no explanation will be satisfying. No, no, I can no. tell is you it, that much. Is it just because he sees four? Yeah, he's uh, like... He's I like, think that's what I, th- that's what I thought, is that like, he the did the math four. and was like, oh, there's like four missing people, maybe the but four But it could worms. be just a huge coincidence that there's four worms. And also, like, Marvin. how do you know to or, hug okay, it? Okay, maybe he and, thought, I'm about to die anyway, I need to have one last fling. <laughs> yeah. I th- I, here, here's the thing, is I think that he saw Freddy, the Freddy movies, and he said, if you hug it and he wake you up, that's how you bring him back. <laughs> oh, that's how you bring back a piece Fucking of it, yeah. Freddy logic, dude. And it and looks s- like... It, Okay, that I just rewatched the scene. When he goes to hug it, it looks like he like tackles it and like slaps it. I didn't that's what I thought he did initially. He manhandled it. I didn't yeah. know that was a yeah. hug. I thought like if you go back and watch it, he like no, he's slaps going in for it really he's going hard, in for a know? French kiss. Yeah. Yeah. And then he comes back and, and he's all he's disheveled. Like, oh. And he's and then he tells Worf, Worf, you gotta hug them. You gotta show them love. You gotta show them. <laughs> and 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 they go in there and they bring back people, dude. And they they save a bunch of people, dude. Okay, them. so so they're they're kind of I'm rewatching it. They kind of explain it. I think what they're claiming is so they try to do the biofilter thing on their end, the old yeah. the Yosemite. They got to the so point, what yeah. happened is they fucked it up and they actually mixed the people together with um, the microbe. So like the fly, tur- like the fly. Yes, yeah, so it's like a it's like a fly issue. Oh, but by, but by grabbing them, their biofilter is working correctly, so it separates out the bug shit. So they come out as humans. Well, it's working correctly now oh, because yeah, 99 percent yeah. of the time the fucking biofilter does yeah, not. Yeah, so work. now it's working correctly because they fixed it, and that's why when they grab the fucking bugs, it sucks the the it bug part out the of them and from keeps the, the human. Yeah. Yes, dude. But then why do we why do we only see the bug representation and not because the human? I, I guess that's why they're big bugs. Because yeah, they got mixed dude. in with humans. <laughs> the fuck? This is this Have is too much. Also, but it's also why the bug the fly, was smiling because yeah. humans smile. You gotta watch. <laughs> you can't even tell that was a smile, man. <laughs> you gotta watch the fly with Jeff Goldblum to really get I this. I have not seen the fly. So that, but... that, but then that proves even further that the transporter know. is a death machine because if it can just reconstruct you as whatever the fuck, that means you're dead. Like with the previous version of you is gone. <laughs> Like wait, it, wait. The fly in, isn't it in, in the fly. He's making a transporter. Isn't it's a transporter it? machine. Yes. God, yeah. <laughs> there we go. God damn it. And Miles O'Brien's a descendant of fucking Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Um. And so he they come back. He brings everybody I mean, back. That's and then, what happens when you push molecular dispersion past the integrity point. Yeah. Am I right, true. guys? Yeah. <laughs> it does look like these butt worms are like smiling, but like also like I don't know. It, I don't know where he got they friendly a, from this. Like I'm should, not they sure. Sh- they should just do a parody episode of TNG where as they're trying to transport, a fly flies in straight into the beam. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it probably already happened on lower decks i'm expecting <laughs> comments already it's like it already happened lower decks did it yeah. lower decks is doing a lot of stuff that we talk about apparently i know apparently ah, apparently stealing we, our fucking content apparently we talk about it and then it happens a few weeks later in lower decks and we're like whoa <laughs> really that's <laughs> suspicious hmm. Mm. Well, it's an animated show, so they were planning it like a year in advance. But you know, mm, yeah. that's thought, suspicious. technically, technically, they thought, yeah, it's suspicious for us because they thought about it a, month, a year ago. Well, <laughs> have, you, have you checked if they animate the show live? Ah, what if it's, it's like South Park? It's, type it's a lot of, on the writer, you know, the, like, the artist, right hands. up until like the hour. <laughs> um, I don't care what kind of strain it is on their wrists. So, so, so then, so then they they come back, and Miles O'Brien and Broccoli Rob are having like a drink, and he's like, "What is that? What is that? Did you bring?" some Tom Ka soup or what is in that thing dude <laughs> <laughs> he, like, and, and it does look like you should have Tom Ka soup <laughs> see I told you guys it's like a it's a, it's a little oh, it's a little Bunsen burner like, underneath ooh, it he's like this looks delicious what he's is like, it he should be taking out like a stick line going <laughs> underneath it he's he's Cooking like he's spider. like he's like Miles how did you know I like Tom Ka soup dude it's, <laughs> Fucking, crazy man he's a coconut milk that's spicy i fucking love it dude 
but he's like, he's like, no, he's like, this, nah. is, this is not Tom Ka's soup, it's my fucking man. Fucking Christina. This is, this is Christine, the fucking the spider. And then he just books it and then leaves it the spider with him, dude. <laughs> yeah, I found, no thanks. I found no an thanks. Earth tarantula on a on an alien planet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, no, thank you. And also, yeah. like me and Marvin were like, what the fuck is with this scene? And also, didn't. Didn't um, like, Broccoli like, say that he wasn't afraid of spiders in the beginning, and then yeah. now all of a sudden he's like terrified of them? Well, here's the thing: I'm not afraid of spiders, but if a tarantula crawls on me, <laughs> I think I think he's just uncomfortable. <laughs> kind of uncomfortable, yeah. You're yeah. Gonna- <laughs> it's just a, I don't know. It's such a weak callback to me. It, it's, yeah. it's 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 a really like, it's, awkward scene. It's like it's like they finish a script and then they're uh, the head. They're like, Michael we need Peller a couple minutes and was left. Like, we just we need, need a button. button. We need a button. Yeah, just, just think of a button. I, I, I think I think the, the editors edited this together and they're like, we're missing <laughs> like two spare minutes. Footage. Yeah, we need. We need, we need <laughs> and, and they're like, well, this, we this have is, that episode. He's like, we have that episode where like it's uh, like across the, four different seasons eating. they just put spare footage. He's, he's like, hey, remember that scene where Miles O'Brien gives fucking broccoli Rob Tom Cos soup? Well, we yeah. can just edit it so it's the spider. And then remember, remember that blooper? Remember that these VFX to replace. <laughs> soup with a spider no no there, then, no then there was a blooper where somebody yeah. threw a spider onto yeah. onto murdoch and they were like oh let's just use that blooper yeah. there yeah, we go i feel yeah. i feel like early 90s was a prime time like around home alone era or, as well when tarantulas were just like the mm. go-to gross out any sort of gag like oh yeah. no oh if since was, they were since yeah, they were easy no. to train and you know like and they looked good on film they were everywhere yeah. If I was an actor and they told me they were going to put a tarantula on me, I'd be like, I, I, this is my last minute on the set. I'm gone. Thank you so much. It was nice. But. I mean, shout outs to Daniel Stern for being the best absolute screamer ever in the first Home Alone when <laughs> the tarantula is on his face. That's, that's amazing. So would you guys l- let somebody put a tarantula on you? I have. Um, if it was if it was getting paid for it, yeah, why not? Why also, not? I have. These people get paid enough yeah. to, to, to no. per episode to do it. I, I, had a, I had a friend who had a tarantula. No, absolutely not. Dan, would you? Yeah, why not? <laughs> if you want to feel sympathy for a tarantula, watch one molt. Find a video of a tarantula molting. It's fascinating. Sympathy? I would feel sympathy? Yeah, because they're very vulnerable in that in that time. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's like, it's oh, like when you take your shit, up. dude. Most most <laughs> insects. Think when about somebody molting, comes in busting yeah. into your bathroom when you're taking a shit, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, you'd have sympathy for me. <laughs> yeah, we have sympathy yeah. for you. Yeah, so that's a really hard position to be yeah. put in. You yeah. know. Yeah. Very vulnerable. You know. Well, actually, it, it, they're especially vulnerable because like a bad molten can actually t- kill a tarantula. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Many well, insects. So like a, a praying mantis, if it molts incorrectly, it'll just fall and die. So, <laughs> wow, that seems horrible. Yeah, that's a bug's life. Yep, that's a bug's that's life. That's a bug's life for me. Here's the thing I'm going to rate this a fucking eight. Wow. Because really? it proves all the things that are wrong with freaking protocol in this fucking yeah, show. Yeah, I rate it, it a brings seven. Them up, it doesn't answer it, though. I know, but it, but it points them out. Yeah, I, I'd rate it a seven. I, I think it's a fine episode. What did I, I just it, say? What did I just say, Marvin? You said, you eight. said eight. All right, I'll stand by it. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I'm not like I, I don't need to watch this again. Uh, no. But but I'm not mad about it. It's not you know a bad episode by any means. Also, um, it's it, so funny. Yeah, it puts it puts it, Barkley's always funny to watch. Yeah, dude. Uh, mm, well, I'll tell you. Can, okay. I, can I see this? Can I see this? All day I was trying to get my wife to get fucking Tom soup. <laughs> 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 she ended up, she, she ended up making dinner and I was like, God damn it. I wish you, I wish you just, <laughs> well, that's where that I came from. I will say out of, out of the, no, the, no, 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 but cause I watched it last night. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah. I watched it last night and all day today, oh, oh, that's God. all I, I was like, man, that's all you uh, yeah, that's all I wanted. So, <laughs> but out of the, a, you got a tarantula instead. Out of all of the, yeah. the Barkley episodes, this is so far the weakest one. Uh, uh yeah. The one where he was like in the acting that was the the one, one where, where he became a god. Yeah, that that one was interesting. He became the Riddler. He became the Riddler. Yeah, he was doing the play with. Uh, that's a Riddler. That's, that's, that's Riddler. the that's the one where he became that's a god. That's the same episode, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I liked yeah. him in that. He was really good in that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that, that was the better one. I give uh, this one probably a six. I think. All right. All right. Yeah, it just I don't know. The science wasn't adding up. I was really confused about the ending. Yeah, that ending is um, really bogus. 
Yeah, Broccoli's, I, I wish, Broccoli's I wish, acting is a little shaky and over the top for my taste at times. It, it could feels sometimes like in this episode, it feels like his character regressed a bit. Yeah, it well, felt I think like I, he was I a little it, too nervous, like he used to be. But I think that's yeah. because he thinks he's dying. So well, sure, but like even to even like uh, off the from the get go, he's already like. <laughs> no, <laughs> what? He, 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 did, he did start off really pretty competent and normal. Uh, you know, he was working and he was like, well, I think we need to do this. And then Jordy goes, it's a great idea. So it sort of like demonstrated that. I just okay, think you know he, what? That, 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 that's to, fair enough. He, he needed, didn't have I just a whole think, lot of time to I just think he needed to dial it back like 25%, you know? like yeah, He, he does feel like an actor from a different kind of show whenever yeah, he appears. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. As many guest stars do. <laughs> I, f- I feel that way too. And yeah, I think if he dialed it back like 20 to 30 percent 25 percent yeah he's got a bit more of sitcom energy to him yeah exactly and that kind of that kind of bothered me so a team energy although i do sympathize with his anxiety because that would 100 percent be me i would feel the same way i would be sweating although i wouldn't be acting like that but like i his fears are super valid so I I think the fear, I think the way they tried to portray it in the show, like, uh, the, the, the sci-fi aspects of it aside, I think they tried to make it analogous to a fear of flight, right? Yes. And I have uh, have a fear of flying, right? Yeah. yeah, But they even go as far to say something like it's the safest way or whatever. Who has a fear, who has a a fear of flying? I do. Why do you fly a lot then? Well, I, it's through therapy, we've discovered that I need to, um, exposure so i guess broccoli rob's you know deanna's thing is like working through a being more exposed to something over oh, and over interesting again, so traveling. this is a, so yeah. this is a higher rated episode then because it <laughs> <laughs> hey, interesting. no because i don't think it's the same thing it's not the same thing as it's flying on a plane thing, they're not Sarah, they're not taking me apart Sarah, molecule by molecule you know i'm Sarah, just on a thing are you plexing plexing what do you mean? Plexi? <laughs> that's 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 what this oh, is. Oh right, is that what they called it? Plex. Yeah. Actually, you know, uh, yeah. I don't do that, but there are coping mechanisms I do, oh, which you can't is say like, that, dude. I can't <laughs> say that. <laughs> I will. Um, I you know what works for me is like I'll ask them for some ice cubes, and I'll like hold the ice cubes in my hand, like get them like super cold, and like water everywhere, but whatever. But like just having my mind focus on like cold. Be, mm. uh, like numbing feeling somewhere else helps. I see. Um, I mean, I, I kind of want to go on a plane because they at least give your your family money. You know what? And if, and if you have family insurance, it kicks it up a, a notch. <laughs> oh, that's what you mean by go uh, on a plane? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, really? Yeah. Um. Yeah, but to me, going on a transporter and plane travel is like not even the same type of you know fear level of things. So. I, you know, he's reacting like I would probably react on like a bad flight of some kind. But if it was a transporter thing, I would not even go near it. I would be like, well, I'm not absolutely not. I'm not trying it. So I think they're trying to, (laughs) I think they were attempting to play it as like, it's a scaled up flight risk sort of thing where it's like, well, yes, the, the feelings you have about flight today are what people would feel about transporting in the future i guess i mean I, what's the equivalent of like a door flying off mid-flight for a transporter you know what i mean well like, yeah like <laughs> remember, you know how they always like bring up all of these safeguards well that's why we have this this and this in place and that's why it's not gonna fail and you know they they say all of the sorts of things that people will t- tell you about airplanes when you, right. know, you, you say then, what if something goes wrong or what yeah, if something fails but then, and, like i think even today my i was talking to my dad who works in the airline industry? He's like, oh, today, like a wing fell off, you know. <laughs> like, and it's just like, oh, wow, okay, dad. He's like, oh, did you hear about the wing that just another wing fell broke off, broke apart, <laughs> fell off midair? And I was like, god damn it, dad, what the fuck is going on with the airlines? No, uh, my favorite thing would be to tell someone about that sort of story and then say, like, tell them to fly safe as though they have any like say over <laughs> yeah. like how safe they fly. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you have a safe flight. Yeah, like, yeah like, I will watch try out up there. Really hard. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm telling you, if a wing flies off or the fucking hatch flies off, like I'm assuming I'm dead in that moment. There's no, there's no two ways of being like, wow, okay, maybe I have a chance of survival. I would be like, this is it, 100. percent This is it. This is how I go. So I don't know. My preferred method is punching a, a bolt of lightning. 
<laughs> a bare uppercutting. But part of my therapy yeah. is I can't let it hold ba- hold me back, Ricardo. I got to keep traveling. I got to keep living my life, keep exposing myself to said fear hmm. triggers. So I, I work on it actively is what I'm saying. But yeah, I give this a six. All right. Absolutely. And uh, wait, I haven't given mine, but I think no. I'm at, at, a, at a six too. I started at a seven when we started talking about this episode, but I got more annoyed <laughs> with it as we went on. I think the ending could have been made more clear if Broccoli just added, and that's why they look like worms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah. Th- that right? would help a little bit. He would say some jargon and say, and that's why they look like worms. Well, yeah, because they just <laughs> left it at jargon. They didn't do the sum up like like putting too much air in a balloon. Yeah, yeah I was about to say. they didn't. Yeah, like- <laughs> they didn't give us the too much air in a balloon. Riker wasn't in the room. That's why. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing is like Picard and Riker just kind of disappeared a little bit. Picard Picard was like, I'll be in my break. office. Well, that's why because he's a piece of shit, dude. He's, <laughs> he's, 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 he professionally, he's fine. Personally, piece of shit, dude. <laughs> All right, caught yourself before you did it. Yeah, dude. I checked All myself right. before I wrecked myself. All Guys, right. All right. All right. All right. I would have given it higher if when they opened that thing, it was fucking Tom Kasu. But it isn't. Yeah, uh, so, yeah that fucking, would have been like a perfect score. You know, like a spider, ten, a spider ten. in Tom Ka soup. They're like, yeah. look, it's spider well, Tom Ka soup. Also, why the fuck would he keep the spider in a tiny little in a Tom Ka yeah, window? So it's not a Pokemon. Yeah, well, yeah. he's that's just a traveling container. Yeah, for yeah, Christina. yeah. a traveling no. container would have a. Uh, it would be clear. You don't. Yeah. You don't it would have you ventilation know. probably. Yeah. And what, what if this is a robot spider? We don't know that. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah, I found yeah, a robot know. spider. Might be a sentient he's, gummy spider. He's keeping yeah. it in a soup bowl type thing. Yeah. So Hell yeah. Cooking container. But it had like cutting. velvet lining, if you look closely. Yeah, it was yeah, like, or, or it had like a like, silky like sort of like I'm pretty yeah, sure nice fabric inside. I'm pretty sure it's, space, it's, space it's, it is a, a jewelry case. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a jewelry box. That they, <laughs> a jewelry you, you box. Think, you, think, you think it's Keiko's jewelry box and she's going to open it one day and be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's like, I'm gonna eat my soup and oh, and or and or <laughs> fucking jewelry box, <laughs> yeah, and or get my jewelry, and then she's gonna be fucking weirded out. I'm gonna it. eat my plankton soup out of yeah. my jewelry box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I my Japanese know. space Japanese jewelry box, and then so now we know cats. he has. Now we know he has a pet spider tarantula. <laughs> yeah, dude. that's interesting. That never shows up again. We okay. don't know that. We don't know that. <laughs> We should do a I'm segment like now. we should do we should do pets on pets on the Enterprise. So Data has the cat named Spot, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a tarantula. That's it. Named Christina. <laughs> one of the one of the kids had a cat that yeah. he wanted yeah. to see again. That's true. Yeah. No dogs yet, huh? No. See. There's right. a rat who's yeah. in, who's a really. Uh, I mean, every so often I'm reminded of Wishbone, but that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that was that was the realm of fear. Barkley episode ah. and uh, he was afraid of transporters. The transporter is his realm of fear. Yeah, dude. Well, <laughs> if I had a face fucking face, I mean, I'd be afraid too. Yeah. Yeah. I would be terrified. It's, uh, yeah. Like yeah. we've said many times. Sarah, you got to face your fears, dude. Yes. And yeah. dear listener, how about Get you? Get demolecularized. You face your fears. By maybe joining the channel, become a member of our YouTube channel, and yeah. you get early access there's to the episodes. There's some scary stuff. Yeah. Are you afraid of the, losing the, $2? Are you afraid <laughs> of wasting $2 a month? <laughs> this is your fears. There's, there's, nothing, <laughs> there's nothing to fear but Come fear on. itself. You guys, you guys want to get episodes super early? Then head on over to our YouTube channel and join the channel. It's get them pretty Get sick. them all are hot, dude. But, you know, other perks coming eventually. Hug but also... The, hug those perks like they're fucking buttworms. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, turn to people. if you yeah. guys ever want to send us an email, you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. This week, another Johnny update because Johnny finished calculating season two. Johnny! So all right. I figured... We should go through that really quick. Uh, well, he just he says, good morning, commanders. We got lucky that I was nice. within striking distance of finishing another season after my last message. Season three won't arrive this quickly. So we're going to have a little bit of a 
of a, of a Johnny. That's fine. That's fine, dude. Johnny perfectly dude. fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah perfectly dude. fine. Perfectly fine. You gotta get Johnny on payroll. Take, take My a break. Take a break. Don't work. don't say that, Sarah. God damn it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Barely afford to pay you, dude. <laughs> and, and you want to? Fucking... We can't pay ourselves, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Johnny's <laughs> doing all this work for us. I feel bad, man. <laughs> Thank uh, you, though. Go get some ta- Tom Cos soup, dude. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Reward yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> treat treat yourself. Well. Uh, as as well as last time, the, he gave us the top five and the bottom five. Oh, okay. yeah, so dude. bottom for five. Bo- dude. For bottom five, we already know Shades of Grey is the worst episode. So he actually yes. discounted that. So okay, in fact, fair. that episode was so bad, I gave it a zero. Oh. Dan gave it a one, and Ricardo refused to rate it. What? <laughs> what, wait, what, what episode is this? What episode what is, is this? That was the clip uh, clip show at the end of season oh, two. Yeah, oh yeah, that yeah. was a bullshit episode. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't. That was. Bad. Isn't that sad that that's Diana Moldar Diana Moldar's last episode? It was a fucking clip show. No. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. So let's do the top five. So coming in at number five, it's the outrageous Okana. If if y'all remember, is hell the, yeah, dude. The, okay, the, that guy fucks sexy space guy. He. As he, he bones the desperate housewife. Uh, Terry that's, Hatcher. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's. Bewilderingly, number four is mm-hmm. Up the Long Ladder, uh, which is the episode with the Irish stereotypes. I would not have thought that we would rate that that high. Wow. I think we legitimately enjoyed <laughs> yeah. the I think Irish I, stereotypes. I think it was funny. I think it was funny. I think that, I think might that be was why. why. <laughs> yeah, I think that was more why. And apparently Ricardo... And and Dan uh, scored that one very granularly. Uh, I gave it an eight, but Ricardo gave it an eight point three, and oh, Dan wow. gave it a seven point three. <laughs> nice. Wow. I don't know why. That's don't exactly know why. what it deserves. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, so not random. point one more or less. <laughs> so third place, a matter of honor. That was I, what was that one again? Is that the first Klingon? No, I believe no, it's no. The, it would be season two, so it would yeah. be like. Yes, no, some sort of Klingon that, thing. That is the one where Riker goes aboard this the foreign oh, exchange okay, program. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the officer swap, officer exchange program. That one was the pretty white sick. Swap program. Yeah, that was actually pretty sick. Yeah, it's also the one where Wesley tried to take his test. I think. I think it was the oh, same. Is that episode. the same one? I think so. I yes. thought you mentioned that very episode last season. <sighs> uh, hmm, let me double. I'm trusting double you check. on this, so you're misleading me somehow. Oh, wait, no. Oh, sorry. That's not what it was. It was the one where um, another Benzite is on the bridge. And he, mist- oh. and, and he was racist and mis- mistook him for Mordok from his test. That's right. what it was. Okay, That's okay. What it got was. it. Okay. Okay. And then number two was unnatural selection. Uh, so that's the one where Diana Moldar gets really old. Uh, mm, okay. Because they have the super babies. And number one was measure of a man. So everyone liked measure of a man. Oh, you uh, really like Measure of a Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You like so, measuring men. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, that's Ricardo's problem with it. He doesn't yeah, get to. Uh, yeah. so, so the bottom <laughs> five. Yeah, one man was measured, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, <laughs> in fact, was measured. I, 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 did I give that a low score, dude? No, you gave it a nine. Oh. Uh, really, dude? Do we yeah. gotta go back? Ricardo's <laughs> so disappointed that yeah, he, didn't he, commit. Did. he didn't commit to the bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Should have given it a fucking two. It was, it was so good that Ricardo couldn't two, commit to the bit. Two, not one the man was measured. <laughs> yeah. So, bottom five, we're not counting Shades of Grey. So, coming in at fifth worst, surprisingly to me, and I think it's entirely because of Ricardo's score, is Pen Pals. Ricardo gave oh. it a four. Yeah. <laughs> What's Pen Pals? What? That's the it's, one with it's the, the girl, one, right? The, 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 the it's the girl? girl they find on the planet, and Data, Data. cures her. Tri- yeah, and cry it's actually Nikki help. Cox. Oh, oh he, he fucking kidnaps a fucking little girl, dude. He yeah, kidnapped uh, Nikki Cox. Yeah, yeah. dude, th- 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 that was a shitty episode. You gave that a four. Dan and I gave him sevens. Wow. <laughs> okay, seven so that, sounds that, about that, right for that. So that's episode. like a weird one where it got really low. Second to last, fourth last was Contagion. And I think mm-hmm. Contagion was the one where both ships were infected by some sort of virus. And it's also the one where Jordy was thrown around in the turbo lift. Uh, oh. That's fairly, yeah. I mean, like I remember those two descriptions, but yeah, it was like a Romulan ship and mind. the enterprise bo- were both infected by the same virus and they had to work together in order to get rid of the virus. Um, so that, that was the one third worst was Samaritan snare. 
That's because it's the Pocklids. Everyone fucking hates the Pocklids. The Pocklids oh, yeah, are do. the worst. Yeah, uh, they're bad. Second worst, slightly surprising, the Royale. Um, that's the one really? where they're on the casino planet. Yeah. So I Dan, tend to I remember. I remember. Uh, okay, what was my score? So Dan, you actually scored that a six. Uh, Ricardo mm-hmm. scored it a four, and I scored it a three. So that was a shitty episode. <laughs> Like, it's so funny how, like, I still have a persistent, like, war memory of the campy stupid stupidness of it. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure that there were reasons to rate it that low. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's just not a very good episode. Uh, it's it's kind of dumb. But the one we rated the worst, and this makes sense, is the Dauphin. This is the one where Wesley falls in love with the Muppet Monster. Oh and, yeah, and that, then he treats yeah, her. Pretty. He treats her like shit once he oh, finds yeah. out that he's that a Muppet was, monster. Yeah, that she's a Muppet, Boo. and he's like, "Ew." Yeah, and the one where he keeps telling her, "Don't worry, you one day you'll get to see all of this," and she's like, "I can't. I keep telling you, <laughs> I won't be able to." <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm gonna die, right. you idiot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I have political duties. <laughs> I can't just go around like you do, asshole. <laughs> And he uh, like keeps forgetting or something. Like he just keeps ignoring it. He yeah. just keeps telling her, oh, "You'll you'll be great. It'll be great." Uh, and then he also did a correlation at the end. Last season, uh, Dan and Ricardo were the most correlated in terms of score. This season, it's Marvin and Dan that are the most correlated. And in fact, the correlation score is zero point nine four, hmm. which means we almost agreed a hundred percent of the time. You and Dan? Yeah, this is or very Dan and close. You. Oh, Dan and me. Mm, huh. oh, so that's very, very close correlation. And then Johnny ends it. All right. Looking forward to the fully operational foursome in the upcoming seasons. Have a great week. So thank well, you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny, for that update. Thank May the week so be with you as this well. This continues to be fascinating data. Data. Yeah. data. This, this data is interesting and yes. fascinating. One is its name. The other is not. <laughs> data. It's pronounced data. Next week, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna watch Man of the People. I I immediately remember I don't like this one. Oh, no, d- d- Marvin, no spoilers, dude. There's, no, but that doesn't mean no, anything. No, for no, you, no, right? no Dan, Dan, Well, for Dan, you're gonna be like, oh, I don't like it as well. <laughs> <laughs> if Marvin doesn't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, hey, yeah, season dude. one, I agree yeah, with you. <laughs> that's true, dude. You know what? We were friends, and then you betrayed me, dude. And started following fucking Marvin, dude. Is that when I first mentioned Del Taco? Yeah, dude. That that's when you, you yeah. drew a line in the sand and it came <laughs> the race, dude. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, All right, dude. All and right. then and then you alienated fucking Common and he never came back, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset, dude. Common. We're sorry, Common. <laughs> common. You guys know what you did. <laughs> oh man! Hey, if you're a new listener and you made it through this, then, then, then you told everyone I was selling dick skin wallets. <laughs> hey, Why would it, you say something like that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the oh comment sounds God. like Jimmy Stewart, kind of. <laughs> yeah, they've always um, they've always been one of the. They've same. always been the same person, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, you know, guys, I don't think that sounded much like Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> you guys keep it real. T- get get. Let's get the dick skin wallets in the streats, dude. <laughs> Kardashians in the, in the sheets. in the streets. Dick skin in the sheets. Yeah, dude. that's what we do. Uh, but also, if you like <laughs> all the stuff we've been doing, head on over to fugitiveframes.com. We have links to all the stuff we do, including the would you would you stay tuned podcast. Yeah, oh yeah, all right. It's all right. Yeah, check all right. it out. We have next some week, really good stuff coming up. Dude, don't do. lie to them. Don't lie to them. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We do. Next week, man of the man of next the people. Man, man, of, man of the man, man of, of the, the people. Man of Does the it have Dwayne Johnson in it? <laughs> yeah, dude. <sighs> Can you smell what the people are cooking? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's Do you not smell Tomko what soup. my neighbor is cooking. It's not Tomko soup. It's a spider. Uh, uh, man of the people. I think we should be gender neutral <laughs> moving forward. Oh, man. Yeah, it'd it'd be grave is like a parody rock. Person of the people. His catchphrase is Do you smell what my neighbor is grilling? <laughs> Smell it's good. It's, it's, it's I ribs. do, and it's delicious. Yeah, yeah, I often do. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. Okay, goodbye, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.